when you are reviewing lenders' marketing plans, policies, technology, what should loan officers, you know, I think you somewhat a answered it just now, but what should loan officers expect from their lenders and managers to provide them? Well, number one, I did answer it to a certain extent, and that is they have to provide them with the rules, with the company rules, with policies and procedures. They need to train them. They need to let them know what they can do and what they can't do. Very important along those particular lines. But when you're talking about marketing plans and policy and technology, uh, you know, let's look at a different angle because I see a lot out there in which lenders are turning to their loan officers and saying, well, you pay for this or you pay for that or you pay for technology. And this is a dangerous area, and, and lenders need to be careful along these particular lines. Loan originators all through the country now are W-2 employees. They have to be W-2 employees. I mean, HUD insists that they be W-2 employees. States insist they be W-2 employees, and that's, and that's what you are. And as a W-2 employee, your company has to provide you with the operational tools for you to do your jobs. That doesn't mean that you can make demands on your company and say, no, I want this instead of that. But the basic operational tools, the company itself, it's their obligation to provide. Beyond the basic operational tools, you may want something else on your own that you purchase for yourself. That's a different story. But you have to be careful as a company because FHA does not allow companies to charge their employees or make their employees pay for operating expenses. And many state employment laws, it's the very same thing. It's the company's obligation to pay the operating expenses itself. So for example, an LO can't be asked to pay for equipment, furniture, office rent, overhead, employee compensation, advertising beyond, oh well, advertising that it is advertising solely of the company itself and similar type expenses. You may find yourself in a position where you want to brand yourself if your company allows you to do that as an LO. And that's a little different. There are some things that you can go out of pocket on and pay yourselves along those particular lines, but not the general marketing for the company itself. So uh, it, it's the company's obligation to provide the marketing plans, the policies, and in general, the technology to you. Compliance, as I said, really starts at the top. It's the company's responsibility to let you know what compliance is, what it means, and to ensure it happens. And then you've got to follow those rules. So, so folks, we're getting just a ton of questions coming in. We may even have to ask you back, Mitch, because uh, just mountains of awesome questions. I am going to try to get to these, but I do want to get through the prepared questions first. Joe, anything you want to add on that before we go to the next question? Yeah, I think, Mitch, you know, when you talk about what the lender should provide and, and really when we reference technology in general, is it a fair statement to say that oftentimes when lenders are trying to share the expenses with employees that there's a bit of penny-wise, pound-foolishness happening when the exposure is so great when technology isn't used properly? Yeah, I, I mean I think that's a, that's a fair statement there. It may be in, at times penny-wise and pound foolish. Uh, you know, the basic technology that's needed to run the business and have LOs do their jobs is in fact technology that is the responsibility of the lender. And it's the lender's responsibility to provide that type of technology itself.